What's good, you guys? It is currently, what time is it? I can't even find my phone. Maybe it's in here. Okay, I can't find my phone. That's a problem. We'll fix that later. It is 6.03. Can you see that? Oh gosh, that's like part of my mess over there. I need to clean my room. It's gotten to an unacceptable level. I had so much laundry to do, but I ran out of laundry detergent. I went to Target yesterday and I saw so many Christmas things at Target that I absolutely need to go back tomorrow. But I actually came home to a package. In my weekend vlog, I was talking about the fact that I really love this Sherpa shirt that I wear all the time and that I wanted more. My phone had to have been listening to me because a couple of days later on Black Friday, they actually had each Sherpa jacket was like 14 or $15 on oldnavy.com. So I went ahead, I think I bought three. I got a size 2X and everything because if you don't know, now you know, I love everything to be oversized on me when it comes to jackets, especially Sherpa. Oh my gosh. I think my Skechers one that I had in that video is the XL, but this is a 2X. So I'm hoping that I love it 10 times more. Oh yeah, this is giving, this is giving. Yes, I have a SpongeBob shirt on and what about it? Cause this SpongeBob shirt is a 2X too. So I just got baggy on baggy right now. Okay. Instagram ads be on it. I talked about it in that video and a couple days later, she said here, I saw the Ugg minis online and I know the Ugg minis are like sold 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 out and they have the platform ones but if you guys did not know I'm actually 5'7 so I think I'm good I think I just want the regular minis because right now I actually have these they actually are too big for me I think I was working at journeys at the time and I remember wanting to get a big pair of these for when I worked because I just didn't like the fact that like the other ones would take a little bit to break in and stretch and I think I've gotten like two or three rounds of these in a size 10 since I've worked there but honestly they're too big and I'm like sliding around in them these are the regular shorts and I think they're too tall for my personal liking so I really like the fact that the mini is basically like half this size planning on getting the minis in chestnut and in black sequin I've always wanted like silver sequin Uggs ever since I was younger I just never had the funds growing up to just randomly be dropping money on Uggs getting a pair of Uggs was like a holy day being older and paying for my own like luxury goods i know it's not a luxury good but you know what i mean it just means 10 times more to me and speaking of luxury goods y'all i purchased these health far ugg bag and i'm so excited unfortunately the regular mini uggs that i want in chestnut are on back order on ugg.com until like the beginning to mid january which is cool with me i can totally wait till january to wear this bag because i refuse to wear the ugg bag unless i have my ugg boots i think the silver sequin is a little bit too loud right now for what i'm trying to do but i didn't want a plain black because i just thought they were too plain and like simple so i really like the way that the sequin look i think this is the same jacket it's like a blush oatmeal color i love this of course i had to get like a mocha brown it kind of has like a reddish tint to it but it's definitely mocha brown also this is literally the most adult random thing that i'm gonna show you basically it's like an electric broom for hardwood surfaces i think it actually goes on like rugs too but if you guys did not know i have a dog he's a labrador retriever his name is lucky and he sheds so much I would have never been excited over a Bissell vacuum before, but like she is staying in storage until I move out because it's a necessity. I'm actually waiting for an Apple phone call at 9 p.m. My computer has just been losing its mind ever since I decided to upload more frequently. Isn't that funny? At first, Final Cut Pro X, which if you guys don't know, that is what I use to edit all of my videos. It just stopped exporting my footage. So I had to call Apple. I learned so much about video formatting what each file means. This 30 minute phone call literally was the most informational <laughs> I've ever had in my entire life when it came to any type of customer support agent. So I was really thankful for that. And then a couple of days later, I thought that I was updating my flash player, which apparently is not actually a thing anymore. So pro tip, if you see something that says, upgrade your flash player here or download a flash player, it is a scam. So now I have malware on my computer. I called Apple yesterday two times because I thought I got rid of the malware and I didn't. Now I'm on the phone with a senior advisor that has decided that she's going to take responsibility for this case, which is really nice because at least I know I can go back to her as a point of contact. She has to call me back because yesterday we were literally on the phone till 11 p.m. and the Apple Center closes at 11 p.m. So I have to finish this today. Hopefully it works out. It's not like a virus. It's not preventing me from doing anything. It just keeps redirecting me whenever I use Safari to Bing and I hate Bing. <laughs> 
sorry, no shade bang, but like you're not Google. Like I was trying to Google something, not bing it, okay? That's what's going on. Um, I'm gonna get on the phone with her at 9 p.m. But until then, let me hop my ass over to the laundry room, do my laundry, clean up some stuff in my room because it is gross. Hello. Hello. <laughs> are you going out with friends? Only one friend. I'm a one friend type of girl. Okay. And then I have this session key. Okay, I got it. Um, it just has a bunch of orange dots connecting the monitors. It has been like an hour. My eyes are literally closing. I got f two or three hours of sleep yesterday. I did not know by updating my flash player, I'll be opening a portal to hell. But here we are. If we can't get this off of the computer, I'm just going to call it a night because literally she told me to Google it. Like that's the point that we're at now. It is now 10.49 p.m. This is my second night being on the phone until like 11 o'clock with this lady. God bless her soul. She tried everything she could. In the end, we just ended up literally switching on the firewall. <laughs> Girl, we, we tried literally every single folder. I'm so done right now. Made me a cup of peppermint tea. I'm gonna need it. Everyone around me is getting sick and I just refuse to do it. So I have peppermint tea, got some emergency. I need sleep. So I am going to finish watching the Santa Claus 3 and I will see you guys tomorrow morning when we go Christmas shopping. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. My name is Benjamin. Let's make it started for ya. Hi, can I have a tall of the toasted white mocha? Just with no whipped cream if it comes with it. Yeah, for sure, anything else? And then a plain bagel with cream cheese. Here we go. Yeah, it's 1104 for you. Thank you. Toasted white mocha for you. Thank you. There you go, huh? Thank you so much. You have a good one. You too. I don't know what's going on, but my nose right here, if you can see it's glossy, I just put Vaseline on it because there is like dry skin right here. There's like this little tiny white dot that's right there throughout the video. It is not a booger. And I'm just clearing that up right now. See, I don't think I'm nasty, but I'm watching it. That's just because I'm the one editing it. Do you have any tips for dry skin during the winter? Because I never have this problem during the summer, but this is like insane. I feel like the puffs girl. I said that in my Sunday recent video, but like literally. What's up you guys, good morning. I went to Starbucks, got me a toasted white mocha. I thought I would get a little bit of a holiday drink. I'm really just a fall girl when it comes to holiday drinks at Starbucks, but I do like the regular white mocha and the toasted gives it like a little flair. I am in the Target parking lot. I'm really excited to go in and go Christmas decor shopping. I just love Christmas decor. Just seeing it really makes me happy. The lights, the trees, and the shopping centers, it's just my time of year. I love stuff like that. So I'm going to get some more things for my room. I I actually drove all the way to Starbucks earlier this morning. It is a little bit later than I had hoped. It is 12 10 p.m. right now. I actually was on the road to get here at 11 and then I accidentally forgot my memory card at my house, which is what is making the filming possible. I definitely took an L on that one. I also just got a notification that my new frames are coming in the mail today and I'm so excited because I'm tired of looking like Harry Potter, okay? I'm, I'm over it. After I said I was gonna go to sleep, I couldn't go to sleep so I started editing a little bit it, and I ended up purchasing the short Uggs that I was talking about so I got my two pairs I ended up going on Fashion Nova because they were still having a Cyber Monday sale and I picked up two leather jackets and like a cozy set kind of like this material but furry it's giving knockoff skims without the skims price I've been looking for a leather jacket for probably a year or two it's kind of crazy because my grandmother offered to get me one my senior year and I just wasn't into leather jackets so I was like nah it's cool but now I've been hunting for one I believe I have found the 
one or the two really because I have two of them from Fashion Nova they're supposed to get here on Sunday I hope that they do because I'm supposed to go out with my friend Yasmin she is one of my friends from high school one of my only friends that I still keep in contact with from high school she was actually a grade above me so we never had anything else in common besides this gym class so it's kind of hilarious that this gym class friendship has transformed into this but we do this thing where we usually meet up like once or twice a year it's kind of like an internal clock and eventually I'm like wait we haven't met up this year what's going on I don't remember the last time we did meet up usually I have like some sort of memory of it and we rarely ever take photos have you ever done that like you notice with the friends that you truly have and love you have like literally no photographic evidence of you guys ever having a friendship together somebody said the car next to me somebody said the car next to me and I am unwell social anxiety Brittany is coming out so yeah I have a lot of friendships where there's literally no photographic evidence it's like to the point where we have to plan out taking photos it actually took me living with Gwen I've known her since I was in like the second grade it took us literally living together to get more photos like this is a problem I've talked enough let's go and target because people are starting to stare at me in this parking lot <laughs> I actually have regular shopping to do too, so let me go do that. I just left Target. It was a little bit underwhelming, I'm not going to lie. I think when I went there a couple of days ago, I might have liked the aesthetics of the store better than what was actually there. I only ended up picking up those two little deer. They were $5 each, but I ended up getting some essentials that I needed anyway from Target. But I still wanna get like my Christmas fix. I feel like I just haven't had the Christmas fix that I have been searching for. So right now I am in front of Home Goods. I'm really excited to go in because this is my happy place. I went to Home Sense in my last vlog. I just have a soft spot for home goods. I like the atmosphere of home sense more. It was like a little bit less chaotic and more put together, but home goods has better stuff. I'm gonna go into home goods and see what I can find. what just happened but I hit the jackpot at home goods today I don't know what's going on I found like the missing piece that I felt like I needed for my room the champagne and silver wreath tie in the two colors I was looking for some other decor pieces but I really don't think I need any more I don't want to go too crazy with it I got the blanket that I saw there a couple of weeks ago and that one is like the same material as the jacket that I'm wearing right now which I'm really into right now the Sherpa I got a floor vase for a house that does not exist y'all know the drill I buy a ton of stuff for my imaginary apartment that I'm gonna be moving into soon and I kind of 
like piece stuff together in my mind. I haven't seen anything like it for that price. It was $35 and it was the last one. And y'all know how I feel about the last one in the store. I gotta grab it immediately. That Minnie Mouse headband, like there were just so many good things. I've had like an overwhelming desire to go to Disneyland, not Disney World. I've been to Disney World two times. It was just me and my mom going for, I think we went in 2012 and 2014. So I was pretty young. California is by far my favorite place that I've ever visited. I definitely want to live there one day. I've been wanting to live there ever since I was younger, watching Demi Lovato do the Here We Go Again video. The most iconic music video that they aired on Disney Channel by Demi Lovato was by far Don't Forget In The Rain. Oh my gosh, it's everything. I've just always fantasized about living over there. I have visited one time to look for colleges. Me and my dad went a couple of years ago when I was 17 and we did go look at colleges, but I knew I wasn't gonna get into them. I just really wanted to go to LA and that was my chance. I went to In-N-Out, I went to Randy's Donuts. Oh my gosh, so good. I've been watching like Disney dedicated channels, Disney vloggers, like I've always wanted to go to Disneyland, but now it's just like a weird overwhelming sensation of wanting to go. So when I saw that spot had been with the ears I lost it like I had to get it I was gonna go and like sit down and eat but honestly I'm just feeling a chick-fil-a drive through moment can I have a chick-fil-a sandwich meal Wait, what would you like for your beverage? a peppermint milkshake just with half of the ingredients yeah. I feel like I need to play underneath the tree because that song was recently resurrected from my soul and I'm not mad about it. I just found a coupon in my wallet that is 25 off a $75 purchase at Victoria's Secret Pink, which is extremely dangerous for me. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. You too. <laughs> saying this but my Telfar package came before my frames. The Telfar and Ugg collab was supposed to ship out by December 15th but I did not think this was going to be this early. I actually ordered my frames before Thanksgiving and we're still rocking with Harry Potter. The frames said that they were delivered today but they actually have like a little picture where you can see exactly where they delivered it to and it's literally in a different city and a different zip code. Like it's not even near me. I ended up calling customer service for Warby Parker and they're going to send me a new pair of glasses to the store. This way I can just go and pick it up instead of them reshipping it to my house. I'm gonna go pick them up whenever they arrive to the store and maybe that'll tempt me to do some mall shopping because I've been wanting to go to Lush. I actually used up all of my Lush products in my bathroom, which I normally never do. Like usually I'll buy stuff from Lush and it just sits there. I actually took a Espoom salt, is that how you say it? Espoom salt bath the other day and I do it because if you guys did not know, along with my little autoimmune, autoimmune girlies, stand up. When I was in the hospital getting diagnosed with it, they actually did a lumbar puncture. And if you don't know what that is, basically imagine an epidural, but instead of birthing a baby, you get nothing. They take this fat ass needle and stick it like right next to your spine. Basically, they're trying to find like a pocket. There's some pocket inside of your back it extracts fluid and the fluid's supposed to tell whether or not you have an infection. So they wanted to make sure I didn't have an infection before they started doing the testing for my autoimmune disease to see exactly what it was. Because in the beginning, it had like traits of lupus and it also had traits of Lyme disease, but lo and behold, it's this. So she couldn't find the little pocket in my back, so she kept moving the fat ass needle around. And yes, they do numb you, but like I could still feel it. And she was doing that for like 10 minutes. Ever since I've had that happen, I've just been having back problems ever since. I got that done in 2021. I literally had all this happen to me like a couple weeks before graduation. I still graduated with straight A's. I don't know how I did that shit. So long story short, 
my back hurts. It also caused me to have a new prescription, which is why I ended up getting these Harry Potter glasses. The reason I ended up getting new ones in the first place is because my prescription changed. I actually have a mini cataract in this eye. <laughs> That's so random. It's like giving, it's giving 70 year old inside of a 23 year old's body. Cataract club. I think it's too small to operate on. So that's why I ended up getting the new prescription to try to kind of, it's not going to cure it or make it go away, but she said it's going to correct it. I really trust my eye doctor because she takes the same medicine as me. She's the one that sent me to the hospital in the first place. I really, really appreciate her. So when she said that it would be fine, I didn't really stress about it. The glasses have been helping, but like this Harry Potter aesthetic is just, it's just getting old. The more important news is that I got my bag. I'm so excited to unbox this. You literally have no idea. I can't believe it shipped to me this fast. I actually just commented under a Telfar post saying that I just started collecting during the rainbow event and I already have five bags this is my fifth bag i have three shopping bags and a duffel it's getting crazy like i told you guys i'm not wearing this until i get my ugg boots and i saw that the ugg boots are now having like a updated estimated arrival for right after christmas so hopefully they do come in december I actually was plotting on the small version of this for a really long time until one day I was out and I saw someone with a like Telfar small bag and I didn't think they were gonna be that small but it was like smaller it's like the size of my hand like it was it was not big enough for me I thought it was like a cute little clutch like you know evening no she said phone and keys that's it I actually watched this girl stuff a lot of stuff in her bag to show how much the small could fit but my problem is like, I don't wanna play Jenga every time I'm going in my bag. I just could not do the small. And I needed this Ugg bag. Like it's just too beautiful to not get. And I don't regret it at all. Um, it's definitely like a once in a while bag. I'm not gonna be wearing this as often as like my duffel or my shopping bags. I just think it's a collector's item. I've been wearing Uggs for a cute little minute. So when I saw that he collabed with them, I was like, oh. I actually saw that Ugg.com ended up releasing his collection as well today. And I'm tempted to get the black. <laughs> but like, I just, uh. I've seen a lot of mixed things about this bag. Cause you know, I'll be looking, you know, I'll be looking online. Some people were saying that there were like inconsistencies with this bag. So let's see if there's any with mine. Oh my goodness. I think I see what they're saying. Like, but honestly, this is just giving like UGG material. This is just what UGG material does. I actually have a UGG care kit with like a brush. So I'll definitely be able to brush this out. But the UGG material in general is just gonna be more finicky. It's not gonna be like a regular shopping bag. I could see how people going from faux leather to this is like a little bit of a, like an adjustment, but this is beautiful. It's not as like ridiculously in your face as I was imagining because the pictures definitely make it look like it is like that. I totally see myself just wearing this with like a cute little brown outfit. Oh my gosh, I love it. Whenever I bring scissors close to my bag, I get so nervous. Here, let me show you. I didn't shave my legs and I have shorts on, so this is really risky for me right now. Okay, so this is what it looks like on me. So, so cute. This little logo zipper, I love that touch. I love it. I can't wait to get my mini Uggs in so I can wear it all together. Today has been pretty chill. I haven't really done anything. I've just been doing a lot of customer service calls because I have a lot of different orders from a lot of different places that are having problems. I actually tried, it's over here. It's almost gone, which is extremely rare for me. Anytime I get any sort of coffee, I never end up really finishing it unless I'm like extremely thirsty that day. But this, I made this this morning. It's the regular cold brew, almond milk, and then that peppermint mocha creamer that I bought yesterday from Target. It has zero sugar in it. It's so good. I did not know it was gonna hit like that. I thought I was gonna have to add a spoonful of sugar in it. Helps the medicine go down. No, but I thought I was gonna have to add a sugar in it to make it sweeter, because I had to do that with my other like nut pods. This nothing i didn't need anything i think for the rest of the day i'm just gonna chill what's up you guys it is thursday i just got back from work i've been standing all day so the lumbar is puncturing girl i got home and i got my glasses i think whoever received these in the mail was probably just like why am i gonna take this girl's glasses so i guess they put it back in their mailbox and it got shipped to me today this is the end of my harry potter era okay goodbye harry potter Hello, Miss Girl. I haven't had square frames in a really long time. And also my hair looks atrocious right now. So it's not really helping my case, but when I was losing my vision initially and then gaining it back, getting used to that prescription. If you're a glasses wearer, you know. That first like week or two is literal hell. By the way, I'm not gonna throw these out. I'm still gonna keep my Harry Potters for safekeeping. Um, I always like to have backup pairs of glasses. I actually still have my first pair of glasses from when I was 15. That was when I initially got 
a prescription and obviously me being a smart ass I didn't even think I needed glasses I thought there was something wrong with the teacher that was writing things <laughs> there was no Elmo there was a projector with the dry erase marker I thought there was something wrong with the marker I was like this guy needs to change his markers like no sis you need to change your vision your eyesight is messed up they're lighter it's like a light brown so they're like a little bit more subtle than like just straight black they had a nice run but like I'm over it. I think I'm gonna go to the mall tomorrow and try to get the Skims dress. I said in the beginning of this video that I got like a little knockoff skim set off of Fashion Nova, like the um, cozy set, but I really want the sleep dress by her. I don't know who's sleeping in dresses, but that dress is fire. It feels so good on the skin. I actually tried it on in a tank top version a long time ago and then maybe go to a couple of other stores. <laughs> It is 1.50 p.m. right now. I'm currently just editing this video. I've been doing this thing where I've been filming and editing kind of simultaneously. I'm gonna put my glasses on because I don't know who I thought I was, but I'm blind. I got back from work yesterday, went straight to sleep, and I'm up. I'm up! This is the cutest spa headband I think I've ever had. I regret literally nothing. I'm so glad I got this from Home Goods. My hair looks a mess, so I just threw this on. I'm having a cocktail of coffee and emergency right now. It is cold and flu season, it is COVID season, and as we all know, my immune system is already down. And I was learning that my medicine that I take actually makes my immune system even weaker um, in order for it to work. So I'll show you guys what I got from the mall. My keys on my bed also. I remember showing you guys my Hello Kitty AirPods case but for anybody that's seen Kill Bill, how sick is that? I couldn't resist. I thought about it one day, searched on Amazon, and it was there, so I had to snack. I have a Sephora bag back here. I went to Sephora, and I haven't been to Sephora in such a long time. They're having, like, a gifting sale going on right now for 20% off everyone, no matter what tier you are. And I have recently been bumped down to VIB instead of VIB Rouge because I have not spent the amount of money that I normally did spend at Sephora, which is kind of a good thing, but it's kind of been transferring to Ulta. I think I'm a diamond at Ulta right now, and it's it's a little bit ridiculous. Speaking of Ulta though, I just ordered yesterday, I think, when it came out, was it yesterday? It's the Mod Vanilla scent by Ariana Grande, and the marketing that she's been doing for it has been showing a lot of people with the minis, because I didn't know that she came out with the vault collection as well, including them. So I thought that the perfume that I bought was literally like this size, and I'm looking at the photos like, what is going on? Thank God, because that scent's like $70, although I did have a coupon and I had points to redeem, so it only was $35 for me, and it came with the free throw. So Graham Stefan hit me up. <laughs> At Sephora, I got this because I've seen a lot of people talk about it. Face oil with vitamin C and turmeric. It says it visibly brightens, hydrates, and balances, and glows, which is exactly what I want in a face oil. This is the face wash that I used in my curly hair video that I posted, the vlog where I was kind of getting my life together. I wash my face with this basically every single day. This face wash lasts a long time for me. You really only need like one and a half pumps and it gets the job done. Next thing I got was a pack of beauty blenders because I wrongfully threw away one of my beauty blenders. I could have just washed it and I didn't really realize it until it was already in the trash and I was not going to take it out of the trash. So I took an L on that one, but they always have these holiday packs. It comes with three beauty blenders and then the beauty blender solid to clean them with. And then I got the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the scent Sweet Candy. I don't know if this is just me, but one of my biggest pet peeves is when people call scents flavors and flavor scents. It's normally the other way around. Like people usually will say this is the flavor. We're not eating this guys. I don't know why that's such a big pet peeve for me, but I hate when people say that. <laughs> so this is the scent, sweet candy. Now, does it taste like sweet candy? I don't know because I'm not going to be eating my lip balm. I will tell you that the Laneige sleeping mask, I don't know if I've ever had this scent before, but the formula in general is just giving. It's probably the best lip situation I've ever had and the last time I had one of these was when I worked at Sephora and that was a hot minute ago so I totally forgot about her and I saw her at the checkout so I picked her up. Next at Nordstrom I literally I don't even think I've ever shopped at Nordstrom but I needed this dress. Okay good I was about to say there's no way there's no like actual name of this dress. It's called the soft lounge ribbed long sleeve dress. I love it. As you guys saw in the try on clips she is everything. She is the moment and then I got these two bras because I realized that every bra that I have right now is a sports bra that would not 
fit with the dress because it's like a low scoop neck. This is an XL and these were the last two not only in the shape, but they also were my size. So I took it as a sign. I got a shirt from Amazon that is also like this low cut material. It's more of like a square shape than the U, but the bra would still work with this. Speaking of Amazon, I also got these bomb as yoga pants. I haven't been able to find yoga pants in years that looked and felt really, really good. This is game changing material. My coworker actually put me onto the brand, but I found this like different variation of the yoga pants. I will link them down below because this is really, really Really good if you're a tall girly definitely get like a 35 or 37 inch inseam i got the 35 inch inseam and they are everything a black and white scoop neck same exact bra because these were the last two scoop neck bras and they coincidentally were in my size so i had to get it and then lastly at lush i got three bath bombs because i told y'all i was gonna re-up this is the snow fairy bath bomb it just smells really really good it smells like candy and bubble gum the next one i got i'm realizing that this one is wrong but it's okay because I think it's actually cheaper than the one I was supposed to get. She put the wrong name. But I know this one is called Twilight because it's a re-up for me. I always get this one. It's just so good in the bath. It's like purple, pink. It's everything. I don't know what this one is called. If you guys know what it's called, let me know. But this is a Christmas themed one. And I just thought it was really cute. And it smells good. So I wanted it in my bath. But that was my mall haul. I will see you guys tomorrow when I'm going to brunch with Yasmin. I'm so excited. I haven't had plans with a friend in a really long time. So I'm hyping this up <laughs> and I'm really excited. So I will see you guys tomorrow. 12 seconds later. I was literally just in the middle of packing. <laughs> she looks rough. I will not be going to brunch. Hey you guys, editing Brittany here. I am about to go to sleep. It's like 3 a.m. And I'm finishing this up for you guys so I can get it up today, later on this morning. But I just wanted to say, Sorry for the dramatics and the remainder. <laughs> um, I just got my period today. So maybe that's why I was acting so crazy. I have been having like health anxiety and I've seen Danielle Carolyn talk about this a lot in her vlogs and I a thousand percent relate, especially because having an autoimmune disease, I'm just overly cautious about literally everything that's going around and everything that's going on with anybody that I'm ever coming in contact with. You can ask people that I have gone out with if they're around someone that even has a cough or a little sneeze. I will literally reschedule plans with them and not want to be around them for the next like five to seven days, especially because I got diagnosed in the middle of a pandemic. Everything has always just been on 10 for me. So when I see people around me getting sick, I take it as a very serious thing, especially because you never know, like a person like me that looks healthy could have, you know what I'm saying? Like some sort of problem. And especially with my friends that I know that don't have their immune system all the way up to par or are similar to me, or just have people that they live with, people that they know, you know, children, um, grandparents, things like that. Anytime anyone is sick around me, I take it really, really seriously. Probably more serious than most people, but y'all should get on that too. So yeah, people around me were getting sick and I just decided that it was probably in my best interest to not go with Yasmin to brunch, which really upset me for more reasons than one. Um, and I got my period later on today. So maybe I was PMSing or something, but I was really mad. <laughs> I'm better now. Everything's fine. I got me a cookie and we're still alive. Everything's fine. I don't know why this is making me so upset, but I don't know if this is like relatable or not, but I haven't really gone out with friends or really just anybody in general in a pretty long time. I've been pretty much to myself for the past couple of months and I haven't really had a problem with it, but my friend Yasmin in particular is somebody that I barely see. Um, so I just really wanted to go out with her. There will be other times. We still live near each other. It's not the end of the world, but it just is for today. <laughs> but yeah, this vlog is super long, um, and I have to get ready for work. So this is a really <laughs> sad. Anyways, I have to go. I have to wash. I have to fix whatever this is. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.